Hi everybody, Dr. Susie Starfish here and I can't wait to dive into my story with you called The Great Barrier Thief. Now this story illustrates the impacts of climate change on our Great Barrier Reef and Dory and I will be starting story time really soon. Can't wait. See you. Let's start. Below the waves is a world that is bustling bright and full of life. This is Anthea's home on the Great Barrier Reef. She lives in the hustle and bustle of a busy city just under the sea's surface, where creatures flash and splash and dash and underwater gardens bloom. One summer day, Anthea's home started to get hot. She started to sweat, which is very odd, as she was under the sea. Hmm. The heat came as quite a shock to her friend, Angela Algae, who lived inside the coral. Angela was a colour maker, a live-in artist on the reef. But now, she and her family had to leave their coral and the colours disappeared with them. It was just too hot, hot, hot. Waves of heat sat in the shallows and left Anthea feeling tired. She tried to find somewhere to sleep, diving down, down, feeling cooler in the darkness below. Anthea slept for a long time. And when she woke in the cold, dark water, she headed straight up for home. But something was not right, Anthea cried out. Where have all the colours gone? My home has disappeared. Who would steal the colours? This is very weird. Alarmed by the blank, white canvas of coral, Anthea worried aloud. This is such a gloomy view. What on earth should I do? Hmm. Then she realised, I know, I'll swim and swim till I find Stan. He'll be sure to have a plan. Anthea swam as fast as she possibly could to the reef's commander. Stan called an urgent assembly, bellowing, I'm going to keep this very brief. There is a thief on the Great Barrier Reef. We need to find them right away and get our colours back today. Anthea led the search and looked high and low for clues, under every rock, inside every cave. Searching, searching, where were the colours? Now there were shiny shimmers scattered along the sea floor, but they were not treasures. There was so much darkness from above, but it was not night time. The dirty water and muddy clouds made searching difficult. Looking, looking, but there was no thief in sight. But then Anthea remembered something and called out. Hey chief, I found the thief. Whenever our home gets really hot, the heat takes our colors to another spot. But how could she bring the colours back home? Thinking, thinking. Anthea suddenly had a great idea. Diving down deep, Anthea went back to where it was blackest, darkest and icy cold. She called to her friends, swim with me and don't be slow. We need to push up cold water from deep down below. So flick up your tails and flap those fins. This is how cooling our water begins.
Angela Algae then tested the temperature, feeling that the reef was much cooler again. With great joy and excitement, Angela moved back into her coral. Now I don't have to wander and roam. I can take my family and the colours back home. They all clapped and cheered. Anthea smiled, happy that below the waves, her home on our Great Barrier Reef was bustling bright and full of life once again. And that's the end of the story, but there's more. So at the end of all of my books, I provide a summary of the science behind the story, which also includes messages of hope and solutions for our future. So how can we all help the Great Barrier Reef from the Great Barrier Thief? The thief in this story is coral bleaching, which literally takes the colour from the reef. Special algae called Zuzentheli live inside the coral where the two are friends and help each other. The algae gives the coral its colour and food, and in return, the coral gives the algae a safe and sunny place to live. But when this friendship is under stress, the algae leave the coral, causing the coral to lose its colour. The algae and its colour can return to the coral, but if the stress doesn't go away, the coral will not survive. The main stress to this friendship is warming sea temperatures caused by human-induced climate change, which can also increase the number of severe weather events, such as cyclones and floods. But the health of coral reefs is also impacted by too many fish being caught and pollution of waterways which flow into the reef. You can do your part, and I can do my part, to help conserve our reefs today by, one, reducing your electricity use. So, turn off your lights. Two, use renewable energy, such as the sun and the wind. Three, recycle, reuse, and reduce your waste whenever you can. And four, you can ride your bike or walk instead of driving. This will help to cool things down as we need to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions right away. And we can do all of this with a big splash of ocean optimism. If you have any questions about the Great Barrier Thief, please post your questions below and I'll try and answer them. Thank you. Best fishes.